Hello, it's Christmas time and time for a Christmas story. So here I am with the new story, the story of three friends. The big Christmas tree, the small Christmas tree and the smallest, the tiniest one. The big Christmas tree was 15 year old. The other Christmas tree was 10 year old. And the third one, which was the tiniest one, was of your age. What's your age? Five year old. So these three Christmas trees were the best of friends. They played together. They sang together. They did everything together. And now they were very happy. You know why they were happy? Because it was Christmas time. As you all know, during the Christmas time, people take the best Christmas tree to their homes. And what do they do? They decorate the Christmas tree with nice decor and they also keep big and small gifts in front of the Christmas tree. And when the children open the gifts, they feel very happy. And when they feel happy, they dance and sing around the Christmas tree. And that makes the Christmas tree all the more happy. So these three friends were waiting for the people to come and pick them up. They were looking at the best. You know, they were looking very handsome and very nice. And then it started snowing. The snowflakes started falling on the Christmas trees, making it look white and green and beautiful. But along with that, it started getting cool. <laughs> All the birds and the animals started, fi uh, started finding place for them to stay so that they could feel warm. And then this was, there was this little humming bird who was flying here and there who used to always hum. And whenever it hummed, all the trees used to feel very happy. But now, you know, it was cold. And this little humming bird was really feeling cold. And because it was feeling cold, you know how it, it started fluttering here and there. And because it was feeling cold, it started humming like this. I'm feeling so cold. It went to the big tree and it asked the big tree, Big tree, big tree, will you allow me to come into your home? I'm feeling very cold. Please allow me into your home. The big tree said, What? You want to come to my home? You want to sit in me? You know, it is Christmas time. People become the best tree. I want to look my best. If you come and sit in me, you will make my tree dirty. I don't want you to sit in my tree. Please, no. Not now. You can come after Christmas and sit in me. Not now. Because I want to go to the best home where all the children are going to open their gifts in front of me and dance along with me. So I'm sorry I can allow you to sit in my tree. Please, no, 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 not this time. No, 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 no. The little bird then fluttered here and there and there and here and everywhere. And then it came to the second tree, who was 10 year old. And it asked the tree, Dear tree, dear tree, will you allow me to sit in your home? I'm feeling cold, I'm shivering here and there. Please allow me to sit into your home. The tree said, Oh, poor little bird, how I wished I could allow you into my home. But you know what? I want to look good. If I don't look good, people will not take me to their home. And then, in this cold weather, I have to stay alone. I want to go to some house. Enjoy my Christmas. So please, not this time, little bird. You can come to me after the Christmas. I will allow you for the whole year 
to stay into my home, but not now. I don't want myself to look dirty, so please excuse me, the little bird said. <laughs> okay, no problem. And she again flew here, and she flew there, and she flew everywhere. She, <laughs> she was really feeling cold. And the little Christmas tree saw her. And he said, hey, hummingbird, my little friend, what happened to you? The little bird said, I'm feeling very cold. I want to stay in some tree. But I know it's Christmas time and you are not going to allow me to stay in you because I will make you dirty. So it's okay. I will not ask you. It's okay. You enjoy your Christmas. I will sit here and wait for the Christmas to go so that some tree will allow me to sit into it. The little tree said, Oh no, my dear friend, it's okay. I want you to come into my tree and rest for a while. It's okay if I get dirty. What is the point if I look neat and tidy and people take them to their house and if children are going to enjoy but then my little friend is going to sit outside shivering in the cold do you think it's going to make me happy? No. For me, Christmas means giving happiness to everybody around me. And that includes you too, my dear friend. I cannot allow my friend to sit outside and shiver in the cold and I enjoy with little children. Will that Christmas mean good to me? Never. Please, my dear friend, I want you to come and dress into me so that you feel warm and you feel good. That would be the best Christmas for me. Saying so, the Christmas tree, the little Christmas tree, which was five year old, allowed the little hummingbird to come and sit inside it. Now, you know what happened? People started coming and picking up the best Christmas tree in the garden. They picked up the bigger one. The bigger one was taken because it looked neat and tidy. They took the bigger tree home and decorated. Likewise, they took the second tree also and they decorated it. And the children were very happy singing around these two trees. But you know what? The little tree was not taken by anyone. It stood in the winter with the bird and nobody even looked at it because it was looking dirty. It didn't deck up itself like the other trees. But then it was very happy because it was giving shelter to its friend. The little hummingbird told the little tree, you know what? I feel so sad that nobody is picking you up. The tree said, never mind. I'm happy. You and me, we both shall enjoy the chilling weather and we will enjoy the Christmas with each other. So what if people don't take us? Saying so, the Christmas tree also started feeling a little cold. But then it was happy that it was giving shelter to the little bird. And you know what? In the night, la 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la. Who came? Santa Claus came. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la. And it looked at the small tree and says, "Hey, you!" How come nobody has picked you up? Ho, 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 he, he, he. The little tree said, You know what? I'm not looking neat because my little friend, the hummingbird, is sitting inside me. The human felt that this little bird will make their home dirty and so nobody picked me up. But never mind. I'm happy my friend is with me and my friend is also very happy. The hummingbird said, Yes, dear Santa, this little tree helped me. And I and this little tree, we are 
very happy with each other, but I feel sad that this tree was not picked up by anybody. The little tree said, It's okay, my dear friend. Let's enjoy this Christmas with each other. Santa said, Ho, 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 ho. You know what? You are the one who is going to sit in my sleigh. Back on my sleigh. And you and I, we are going to ride in the whole city together. Ho, 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 ho. Saying so, Santa Claus picked up the tree and put it behind his sleigh. And this tree was the luckiest one because this tree was chosen to be Santa's tree. Both Santa, this tree and the little hummingbird, all three of them sat on the sleigh and rode on the sleigh singing the song. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la. The tree was happy, and so was the hummingbird. Santa and tree and hummingbird sang along. Hey ho 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 ho. And when the big tree and the ten-year-old tree peeped outside the window. They saw this little tree roaming all around the city and they said, Oh my God, look at this tree, how lucky. And we are sitting inside the house. We can't roam along with Santa. How lucky is that tree? But my dear friends, do you know how this tree became lucky? This tree was lucky because this tree chose to help somebody. This tree help people to give th by giving them shelter and the real meaning of christmas is helping others isn't it and that's what this little christmas tree did it helped the hummingbird by giving shelter and that's how santa chose him to be the special tree for the christmas i hope you enjoyed this story happy learning